Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming episode 8 of my Will I Buy It series for 2021. And oh my gosh, there are some juicy launches to talk about. So if you guys are curious to hear my thoughts on new makeup releases, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my channel. If you love Will I Buy It's, I do a Will I Buy It every other week here on my channel. So I would highly recommend subscribing and turning on my post notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. I'm trying to post every day in the month of April. I already failed, but I feel like I've only missed two days. So fingers crossed I don't miss any more days. But if you guys are interested in new beauty content, seeing swatches, hearing first impressions, checking out things on my tan skin tone, then this is the place for you. Without further blabbering, let's get into it because we have a ton of new makeup releases to talk about. Okay, so I'm going to move on over to this side. So we can put some pictures here of the newest makeup releases, but I'm on trend mood right now and I have her linked down in my description box in case you guys are not following trend mood. Definitely one of my favorite sources for new makeup releases. So it looks like ABH is launching some makeup wipes. So we have the new makeup remover wipes from ABH. Gently dissolve dirt and oil, which is what most makeup removers do. And it says $6 per 30 wipe pack. That's not bad. Like, I feel like $6 is a good price. I was thinking because it was ABH, it was going to be a much more higher price point. So it says it has aloe vera, chamomile, cucumber, and green and white tea extracts. And this is launching on April 12th. I would really love to know what's going on behind the scenes at ABH. I feel like we got so many eyeshadow palettes from them in like 2019 and 2020 and 2021. They've been so quiet so far. I feel like that's what they were really making a name for themselves with was eyeshadow palettes. So I would really like to know what the tea is behind the scenes on ABH because they haven't, they haven't launched an eyeshadow palette. And it's been quite some time and I'm just curious to know. So the next new release I see on Trend Mood is a new spring collection by Sleek Makeup. So they have a Control Alt Create eyeshadow palette and then a glow highlighter palette as well as a lip gloss. And this is really colorful. I haven't really seen Sleek do something like this in a while. I know they do color as well as neutral palettes. They are a UK, I think, based brand. And I think I've seen them at like Walgreens and stuff. So I'm not really sure where you would go to buy sleek makeup, but I remember they had like that one highlighter palette that Jaclyn Hill like really pimped out on her channel, which definitely prompted me to buy it, but I haven't really bought anything from them since then. But yeah, this is cute. It's colorful. It's a pastel palette and that's about that for that. <laughs> so easy pass for me. So the next new release I actually have here to show you guys, this is from Sigma Beauty. So you guys know I'm such a fan of Sigma Beauty and they are actually launching a Corda Rosa blush palette. Like, do you guys see this? Like, I feel like I've officially like made it in life <laughs> getting a Sigma PR palette like this, but there is a beautiful Corda Rosa blush palette that I'm going to take out here and show you guys as well as some beautiful brushes which I cannot wait. I'm gonna do a dedicated video to this blush palette and give you guys swatches and stuff but here is the blush palette just so you guys can see it. It looks like there are four matte blushes and then two more shimmery blushes so what I want to do is do a look with the Corda Rosa eyeshadow palette and then incorporate the blush palette but I love this size it's so stunning and I actually have the two other Sigma face palettes here and it looks like this quarter Rosa one is the same size so how cute is that if you're into like displaying your makeup these are so nice so I'm so excited to test this out and I'm so grateful to Sigma for sending it my way. So that's going to be launching on April 20th on Sigma's website. Okay so the next thing we have is the KKW Eye Contour Duos. Last time I did a Will I Buy It video I had jokingly said that I'm being attacked by like face duos and it seems like the trend is still going so these are specially designed 
to sculpt and contour the eyes. These easy to use powder duos have soft and creamy formulas that blend easily into the skin using the dual ended eye contour brush. Now basically this sounds like a glorified two pan eyeshadow palette. Like I don't know what would possess you to buy this particular product other than you want like a really simple makeup look. But still, you have this, like just reach into a contour palette and it's the same thing, or use two brown eyeshadows that you already have in your collection. Not quite sure where they're going with that, but in case you want them, they are $24. And then she's also got a glossy lip balm that's launching for $18. All of this is gonna be available on April 15th, which is next week, I believe. So it should be coming out soon at the time you're seeing this video. So BH Cosmetics launched a new collection. This is the Remix Dance Collection. And there's three palettes. So we have the Remix Dance of the 80s, the Remix Dance of the 90s, and the Remix Dance of the 2000s. These palettes are $18 a piece. And then there is a $28 10-piece eye and face brush set. So when I first saw these swatches and I saw this collection, I honestly thought it was really beautiful. But when I really looked at it and took an inventory of like what I have in my makeup collection, the first palette, which is I think the 80s, is a very rainbow looking palette. And then the 90s is like a more pastel looking palette. Both of those kind of remind me of their festival palettes that I've had in the past. So I decided I definitely don't need those. I'm a little bit drawn to the 2000s because it's a beautiful like grungy purple palette, which I've low-key been into that lately but BH Cosmetics takes forever to ship and so if anything I'll probably wait to see if these come to Ulta. I think they're coming to Beauty Bay and honestly I would rather have them shipped from Beauty Bay to me. It'll probably be faster than the BH Cosmetics shipping so for now I'm passing on that. Now, Okay the next thing is not really a new release but more of an announcement if you're part of the beauty community but the Sephora sale has begun. You've probably seen millions of recommendation videos go up, including mine. So if you guys are shopping the sale, I do have a recommendations video that I will try and remember link for you guys. I tried to include like my favorite Sephora recommendations for you guys. So I would highly encourage you to check it out because I thought it was a good video. So if you haven't had a chance to shop the sale yet for Rouge, it's already begun. So that's the 9th through the 19th. And then VIB starts on the 13th and then the Insider event starts on the 15th. So very excited for everyone to be able to shop that sale. Honestly, I do have to like comment. It's so funny. I was at Ulta the other day making a purchase and I was at the register and there was a girl checking out right next to me and she literally spent like $300 at Ulta and I was like oh my gosh I don't know if like she knows that there's a Sephora sale and you could totally get like some money off that Urban Decay Naked palette you're buying. Like it's so wild how not everyone realizes that you can like save money on makeup like even if you don't shop the sephora sale like brands have their own friends and family sales so it's just wild to me because i feel like the beauty community is always on top of like when the next sale is and stuff like that but if you don't participate in the beauty community or instagram or things like that you could totally miss out on kind of like scoring a deal you know i get that you want to buy whatever you buy at the time you buy it i get that like sometimes i won't wait for a sale but with high priced makeup, if I can save 20%, I'm definitely gonna do that. Now that doesn't mean you should spend money you don't have, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you could get something on sale, like if I was the average consumer and I knew I could get something on sale, I would try and get it on sale, not just spend my hard earned money. But <laughs> Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about that because to me I'd rather get it on sale, but maybe that's not the case for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so for the ColourPop launch of the week, they are launching a new mascara. This is the Act Natural Mascara. Create the perfect, wispy, defined, natural looking lashes. Creamy, vegan friendly formula that is smudge proof, clump free, and easy to remove. I really need a new mascara. You guys should give me a recommendation. I have backups of my favorite Lancome mascara that I might pull out, but right now I'm like trying to use up some samples. I have this You Better Work Essence Mascara, and this one's nice, but it's not like blowing my mind, so I'm probably gonna do some decluttering in my mascara section and then pull out one of my backups, but like what are your guys' favorite 
mascaras of the moment because I know I like the Maybelline Sky High, but mine got really clumpy pretty fast, so I need to replace it, but it's like sold out everywhere, so I think that means that I just need to go ahead and use some of my backup mascaras, but I'm curious to know what your guys' favorite mas mascara is at this moment in time. Next, we have a new collection from Melt Cosmetics, so they launched their Mary Jane collection, and this is now available at Sephora, so you can get it as part of the VIB sale, and it's also available on Melt's website. I wasn't going to get this palette at first, but once I saw the swatches, I was really sold. I'm really into that shade called um, Gaspar, I think it is, the second shade from the top, so I'm very excited to put that in my crease, but... Um, it is a $58 eyeshadow palette and then they launched a new product category for them. The glitter pots, $19 each. Glitters in multi-dimensional metalized hues that amplify your look. No special primer required. So I'm excited to see what people think that purchase the glitter pots, but honestly I'm definitely more of an eyeshadow palette gal, so those were an easy skip, but I did get the palette, so stay tuned for a video on that. And then, such an exciting collection from Wet n Wild, and it's a collaboration with Spongebob. I like Spongebob. I wouldn't say I'm like a diehard Spongebob fan, but this collection is so cute. I think this is way cuter than the one that Hip Dot did with Spongebob. I love the packaging, the aqua blue, all of the fun little brushes, and I think they just really channel the essence of Spongebob in this collection. So there's a bunch of different things. They're going to be available at a bunch of different places. It is April 10th when I'm filming this and I looked on the Walmart app because I have it on my phone and I wasn't able to find the collection online so I don't know if it's like an in-store thing. I'm so confused but I would love to grab the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter. The highlighter is so cute but right now the only place I could find it was Amazon and they're only selling the PR box for like 50 bucks and as much as I would love to just like own all this makeup. I know I'm probably not going to use it, so I'm going to pass on the PR box, but I would love to get my hands on the eyeshadow palette just for collector's purposes, so I'm going to try and get it. So Desi Perkins launched a new brand as well as a new product for her brand. So she launched Desi Skin, which is her skincare line, and her new product is called Claro Que C Serum. I hope I said that right. I did watch her video on this product, and it was very well done. I mean... She can sell anything. Let's be real. Her face is flawless. She wasn't wearing any makeup in the video. She just had like a wing liner and she said she wanted her skin to do the work for her, like talk for the product and stuff like that. So it was a very well put together video. I can't wait to see people review this product. I'm not a skincare influencer by any means. I always struggle with my skincare and I've told you guys, especially in recent videos, that I have like three products that work for me and I'm Planning on sticking to them for now, but if you guys were interested, this already launched, and I believe it was retailing for like almost $60 on the Desi Skin website. Okay, we have another reveal from ColourPop. So they are launching the Get the Feather Effect line, and this is a brow products line. So there is a Feather Effect Styling Wax and a Feather Effects Brow Brush. I think that sounds really interesting a brow wax. So it's a tame and shape your brows formulated to provide strong yet flexible hold for all day wear with growth peptides to nourish and condition brows in clear and tinted. I think this looks really cool. It kind of sounds like the ABH brow freeze that I currently own so I don't think it's something I need but again always excited to hear what people have to say about these affordable makeup products that Colourpop launches. Okay another new launch that I already picked up and filmed a video about are these new blushes from Hourglass. So they're so pricey. I think they're like 48 bucks and they launched six shades. So I grabbed two of them and I have the shade Revel and then I have the shade Loyal which I'm actually wearing on my face today as well. These are so far really really nice. I'm so happy I grabbed them. They are available at Sephora now so if you want to grab them with a discount I would highly recommend doing so if you are a fan of Hourglass. I think you'll really enjoy these products. Uh-oh. Mine is stuck. Uh-oh. I wonder if it's broken. So, ooh, I'm scared. Okay, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It might be broken. It might be broken. It happens. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. 
Anyway, I really like these blushes so far. They actually have like poor blurring technology as far as like the description of the products. I personally think it works. If you are like getting married and stuff and you're gonna do your own makeup, I think this is definitely worth checking out because it just perfects your skin. Beautiful product. I have a wear test and a first impressions video on my channel. I will try and remember to link it but I really, really like the products so far and I hope they come out with some like peachy shades and more like deep nude shades because I think that will be really, really fun to see in this formula. So we have some new things coming from Rare Beauty. They are launching an eyeshadow palette on the 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so mark your calendars. This is the Discovery Eyeshadow Palette. True to myself, seven shades with different finishes for $29 and it always an Optimus Weightless Eye Primer for $18. The eyeshadow palette definitely looks like a neutral eyeshadow palette. It's nothing like I'm dying to pick up, but I can see people that like Rare Beauty enjoying that. I remember they launched their last two eyeshadow palettes during the last Sephora sale and people went nuts for them. So I'm assuming that that particular eyeshadow palette will also have a lot of demand to it. So I'm very excited to see who ends up picking that palette up. And then the eye primer, you know, I have so many right now. I just got a new one as well. I bought the Juvia's Place one. So I'm all set for eyeshadow primers at this moment. Next are some new products from Surat Beauty. So these are the Artistic Liquid Blush, a vibrant liquid version of our classic powder blush with a bouncy sponge applicator inspired by the classic Bingo Dauber. Okay, so this is kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury like contour ones and blush ones and things like that. These look beautiful. They definitely look like they are glowy. I don't love, I don't love a sponge applicator and they're $45, so around the same price as the Hourglass blushes. So since I have the Hourglass ones, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the Surat ones. Okay, another new release that I have with me already is the Be Perfect Dream Big Eyeshadow Palette. I actually picked this up when it launched and it got to me super fast. The shipping was a bit pricey, but I think it was worth it. So very, very excited to have this with me. I might already have this video posted on my channel. If I don't, it's definitely coming up. I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today. So little sneak peek of what's to come, but it's a really cool palette. It definitely has way more different textures incorporated into it than the other palettes that I own from them. So very excited to share that video with you guys. Okay, next we have some new products from Huda. So I think she redid her lip liners. So she has new lip liners and new lipsticks. So the lipsticks are called the Power Bullet Cream Glow Lipsticks for $25. So many beautiful neutral nude shades. I am so tempted to pick these up because they are available at Sephora now. And with the sale, my like little brown loving heart is just like pitter pattering but like these shades all remind me of the proper lipstick so i'm like karen do you really need another lipstick but i have a feeling i might cave and just get one just to try out the formula i saw charlotte holcroft did a video with them and she definitely sold me on the lipstick formula and then the lip liners are the lip contour they're 19 dollars and it's a new formula transfer proof and waterproof soft buttery formula and I have some of our original lip liners and they're so good. So I would assume that these new ones are also very good. So the Hindash Cosmetics Butopsy palette is available. So it has six pans with gradient color stories and it's a $70 palette. And I think you can use it as an eyeshadow palette or a face palette. I did see Wayne Goss posted like a quick video about this, but honestly, it didn't really catch my attention, so it's an easy pass for me. Gucci Beauty launched a new lipstick. Oh my gosh, these are all sold out <laughs> already, pretty much. I think the only shades that are left are like the bright red and like the bright pink, but all the nudes are gone. And the one shade I want is like this orange terracotta shade. It's number 307. So if any of you see that product is back in stock, you better DM me because I really want that orange shade. And if I don't get it on Sephora, I'll just get it on Nordstrom because I saw it's available on Nordstrom. But this is basically a lipstick that provides up to 24 hours of long lasting hydration and shine, creates a luminous glowing finish and a long lasting shine 
and it's $42 and there's 16 shades. So it looks beautiful. Again, I don't need lipstick, but I have a very small Gucci Beauty collection and this is one of the products I would like to include in that collection. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys is this new collection between e.l.f. and Jen Atkins. And I wasn't planning on buying this. I didn't think I would, but you guys really enjoy when I review or do first impressions of neutral eyeshadow palettes on my channel. And I'm a big Jen Atkins fan. I actually just washed my hair today with all of my way shampoos and stuff. So I'm a big fan of our brand and I don't know, something about this was like, okay, let me just try it, let me get it. So I did get the medium to dark eyeshadow palette and then I grabbed one of the lipsticks and I grabbed the brow tamer thing that she launched. What is that called? The hair and brow pomade. I love that because it's a two-in-one clear pomade designed to groom your brows and tame flyaway hairs on the go. I, I already have a product like that from Amazon, so I'm very curious to try Jen Atkins' version of it. So it's already launched, and I ordered three products, and they're on their way to me, so stay tuned for a video on that in the future. We also have this new launch by Stila. This is their Camouflage Beauty Palette, and then they had another mop palette. I haven't seen a post on that, but this includes eight mattes and shimmers, and they're supposed to be like camo-inspired shades. I don't really love this color combination. I love camo. I think it's so fun, but I don't love this palette. I did see a lot of people have very positive feelings towards this, but I don't think I saw anyone say that they were actually going to buy it. So I think it was a good try, but definitely a miss for me as far as Stila is concerned. Okay, we also have this new collection from Hello Kitty and Hip Dot. So I feel like this is going to be such a hit for the Hello Kitty fans out there. So there is a like eyeshadow palette, a sponge, uh, mascara, lip gloss, all kinds of things. The palette looks cute. I'm definitely not a big Hello Kitty person, so this isn't really doing anything for me. But I will definitely link it in my description box if I can find it in case you guys are interested in picking it up. And then we have the Gone Glamping Collection with Milani. So they have a Gilded Getaway Eyeshadow Palette for $20 and some shadow sticks. I think this packaging is so cute. I'm definitely not a camper myself. My husband loves to go camping, but that is not for me. I need a bathroom, you know, within walking distance and it needs to be clean. I, I, I'm not like a pee behind a bush kind of gal. <laughs> Let's be real. So I'm definitely passing on the camping. I would go glamping. I would do that. I would love to go glamping, but straight up camping, like in a camping grounds is definitely not up my alley. Anyways, let's talk about some new indie makeup stuff. So I saw a post on Give Me Glow's website. They are planning on launching their Pastel Dreams eyeshadow palette at the end of April. They also have some swatches now so you can check that out. I'm so on the fence about this palette. It's really cute. And I really want it because I like to collect Give Me Glow eyeshadow palettes. But I'm also like nervous for the formula because it does look very thin. And like, do I need another pastel palette? The answer is probably no. So we'll see if I actually end up getting it or if I'm strong enough to pass on it. Right now, I feel like the collector in me just wants to have it for the sake of having it, which is not always the best thing. But I'm just being honest with you guys because we're friends. <laughs> okay, the next thing is the sneak peek. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. It is the collaboration that Menagerie has been teasing for some time. I think this is going to come out pretty soon, so I'm very, very excited. They just showed some butterfly packaging. This looks like the back of the packaging, so I'm very excited to see what that is. <laughs> Next, I was tagged in a post from Pink Honey UK. It looks like they are launching some cream bronzers for $16.50 Great British Pounds. And it looks really cool. Um, I know my friend Heather Austin is a huge fan. She's a big fan of the Pink Honey brow products. I haven't personally tried them, but if Heather likes them, I'm sure they're a very good brand to check out. So another new... Indie launch that is coming out actually today, I think these launch is the Glitch Liquid Multi Chrome Eyeshadows from 
Lethal Cosmetics. So they showed these last weekend and I was so excited. And I do have a code with them so you can use the code KH Makeup to save money on your Lethal Cosmetics purchase. Actually, I think it's KH Makeup 10. I'm so bad at remembering my code. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll put it right here. If you are shopping the Lethal website, I would highly recommend using my code or somebody's code to save yourself some money that is not an affiliate code so I won't make any money. It's just so that you can save, but they're gonna send me, I think, three of these, so I will definitely have a dedicated video to those products just to show them to you guys. I also saw this new palette that launched from Sample Beauty. This is the Plush Palette. And this week I actually filmed my part like six of I Hoard makeup boxes and I found two boxes of palettes from Sample Beauty. So, so I already own two eyeshadow palettes from the brand that I've never tried. So I basically gave myself a rule that I can't buy any more eyeshadow palettes from Sample Beauty until I actually try the two palettes I own from them. So I... I'm hoping to get to that sometime soon because can you imagine if I buy a third eyeshadow palette from them when I haven't even tried the ones I already own? That's terrible. So I'm putting that on my list of things to do. I also saw some sneak peeks from Terra Moon. So they are showing some new shades that they are thinking of launching. Um, looks like actually they're launching April 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So these are so stunning. There's a shade called Blood Moon, Hyperion, Centuria, and something else. Lightyear? Oh, okay. So that's one that I think already exists, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm screwing that up. But yeah, she's got some new eyeshadow is coming and it looks like they launched a new website as well so I'm very excited for Terra Moon because you know doing little things like that really does enhance your shopping experience with a makeup brand and I gotta give them props for that. Okay guys, that is everything for this week's Will I Buy video. Always remember you guys could tag me on new makeup releases on Instagram and I will feature them on my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down in the comment section. You guys know I love chatting to you there. Let me know what makeup release you are looking forward to in this upcoming week. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.